McLaughlin, and today we are going to make a fun little inexpensive hoop house. A hoop house is like a cold frame greenhouse. It, it, it's like a greenhouse, but not heated. So I'm going to show you how you could make this three feet long or 30 feet long, any size you wanted. And it's a fairly inexpensive little greenhouse. It will extend the life of your plants. You could start like, for instance, in February and March rather than in April or May. And it will also extend it into October, November, and even into December. So it definitely is a great benefit if you want a longer uh, life of your plants rather than just having them outside in the weather. So here are the materials that you're going to need to make your little hoop house. You need, depending on how big it is, you're going to need some 10 foot pieces of PVC. This is 3 quarter inch. And depending on how long it is will depend on how many you need, but this is 3 quarter inch, 10 feet long. For the ends of your hoop house, you need a little three-way PVC that is going to hook on to your PVC. You're also going to need some four ways. This is going to be the spine, and you'll see how we put that together. You're going to need a mallet to pound that in, and you're going to need PVC cutters. And while we're getting the cutters, uh, you also need half-inch rebar. And then we took this three-quarter inch PVC, and you will need some PVC cutters in order to cut down some of these pieces. And then we call it a skin that goes on the top, and that's what this is. So I got the six mil. This is just a plastic that you can get at Home Depot. It's a six mil plastic, and that is what is going to cover the entire frame of your hoop house. So before you start the hoop house, you need to decide where you are going to build this hoop house. On this particular hoop house that we're building, we're actually building it on the outside of two of these grow boxes that are made with cinder block. So you can put it anywhere. The one thing you need to think about is making sure that it does have full sun. So it does need to be in a nice big sunny area somewhere in your yard. And then you're going to decide where you want your opening. We are going to have our opening here on this end here, and then it's going to go long. So remember, you can make this as short or as long as you want, and you can kind of extend it if you can keep going. So if you at first just wanted a few feet and then you go, oh, this is really nice, then you could keep adding on. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to have this spine that's going to go along the top of our greenhouse, our little hoop house here, and we got this <clears throat> from taking our uh, PVC, our 10 foot PVC, and we went ahead and cut these. So this is where you're going to need your PVC cutters, and you'll go ahead and cut your little spine based off of a big piece here. So we have already cut plenty of pieces and even though this is going to go up here in the center, top part of our greenhouse, we're going to lay it down here to get an idea of where we're going to go ahead and start pounding our rebar in. So we've decided, and I get, again, I just use this as a marker right now to see that that's going to be the edge of this hoop house. And then it's going to start to go from here. And so we'll put a rebar here and one here and it'll go all along down the side, and we'll do that on both sides. So before you start a project, make sure you know and understand the tools that you're using, like a sledgehammer and PVC cutters and even the PVC, because safety should be your top prior priority in everything that you're doing. Okay, before you put the stakes in, it is a very good idea and required by law to check uh, underground and make sure that you don't have any lines because this rebar is actually going to go a foot into the ground and we are using two foot rebar so half of this is going into the ground so you want to make sure that there aren't any utility lines so this hoop house is completely portable there is nothing that we are cementing in and we are not even cementing the ends, the little uh, pieces that go in here. They are not even cemented either. 
So here you can see Laurel is pounding the rebar into the ground, putting it using a, a steak pounder. What do you call these things? A sledgehammer. <laughs> into the ground, and we are getting our sides in. So we are taking the four ways and we're putting them into our little three foot pieces to make our spine and make sure that whoever's holding this is making sure that all of these are lined up exactly the same so they're all pointing straight up they cannot be ski wampus and you know on an angle they have to all be facing exactly straight up okay let me see some also, we are not gluing these together, so if you want to take this down at any time, you can. So don't worry about gluing any of these pieces. Now, down here, on our very end, um, we'll show you how you cap this off. Here, hold that for a second now. So I have a little three-way, and it is going to go just like this. Now remember, this is going to be the spine that's going to go on top of the greenhouse, and we'll show you how this all comes together. So when you're putting your rebar on, you can go ahead and lay it down and make sure that this is all basically together the right way. We can move, let's move some stakes. So we may have to make a few adjustments on the stakes. As we can see that some of these are going to go in and some of them are not. So it's a good idea to put your spine together first, and then you can make any little adjustments. Okay. Let's get the last one. Okay. So we went ahead and put the rebar down and put these little spines. This is not where it's going to stay, but this is helping us make sure we line this up correctly. We want to make sure that the rebar goes in about one foot into the ground and then it'll be above the ground one foot. And you'll be so excited to see how this whole thing comes together. I mean, your kids can help you make this. It's really quite easy. <clears throat> so we have the three quarter inch PVC. It's going into the half inch rebar and you just put it through like that. So someone in your group can go right along and put all of these with a PVC. Then what's going to happen is this is going to bend and there's going to be our spine. It's going to go like this and this is going to attach here. Okay? And then we'll have the same thing on the other side. This is a half a PVC, half a hoop house right now. And it'll be higher. See that? Didn't get. Okay. Anyway, so that's basically what it's going to look like. Out of that. Yep. Okay, so it is important actually to not put the PVC, and we were just kind of demonstrating how it's going to slide onto that rebar. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is put it down on the grass, put it all together on the grass. This is the spine, this is the center part of the spine that they're putting together. And then we are gonna go ahead and with a few extra people, we're gonna take whoever we have here to help us go ahead and put all of this on the rebar on both sides. This is where you'll come in. Okay. <laughs> I hope it all stays in there. As we're putting this together, thing. it's so much better if you will do this on a warmer day because this PVC will flex much better than it would on a colder day. Like as Laurel is putting this in on top of the rebar, um, it really does help to do this on a warmer day. Also, I would give a warning about having children out here 
because children can't see this rebar sticking out of the ground. That is a danger factor for children. If you start to have a, a seam come apart, you can reinforce this with duct tape or you can use a hose clamp to keep it together if you should get a broken one that comes apart. So we're going to go ahead and use this six mil plastic and it's going to be really great. This bought a one inch piece of the PVC. This is a 10 foot piece that we're using. And then with our PVC cutters, we are taking little sections about an inch and a half, just like this. And then once we have cut them like this, we're going to go ahead and cut the side so it has a slit down the side. And that way we can make a bunch of clamps. And we come around about. Okay. So then you can go ahead and make and and you can kind of play with one of these to make one and then just kind of see how much of a C kind of clamp you're going to use on this. That's beautiful. <laughs> so now we're taking the C clamp. We put the plastic on nice and tight and it just clamps right on. Now if you're building this in the summer when the f the heat yeah. is prevalent, then start at about three feet up and uh, we can put these around, but look what we're doing to the very bottom. You can use a brick or some kind of a weight to keep the plastic down. And then as it gets really hot during the day, you can take the brick off and roll this up and let your hoop house breathe. If you don't control the weather, you will kill all of your plants inside the greenhouse. So. You do have to really be aware of the weather outside. So you want to keep them warm enough during the colder days or during the night, and you want to keep them uh, cold enough so they don't boil with this plastic on, because they will do that. So you do need to kind of create or control the, the temperature that way. Okay, so we have built this plastic and put it around like this. So we have no door on here right now. You can go ahead and purchase another piece of plastic and you can clamp that right here on the front and it will just come down as a straight door. Now one of the things that we've done is we cut it just with an extra foot or so that's dragging on the ground so the bricks can hold down the bottom. And then we take a, um, a utility knife and put a slit right down the front. You can do that and so you can kind of create this little bit of a tent as you go in and out. Or you can go ahead and just have it all one piece if you're dealing with colder temperatures. And then you can just come in through the side or something. So it just kind of creates some kind of a fun little door to come into.